Okay, so most of you know by now how I feel about Cardano, right? It's one of my top holdings after Bitcoin and Ethereum. They have some huge things in the works. Of course, the one thing we're waiting on right now is the Vassal hard fork. But aside from that, there are many other things happening within the Cardano ecosystem. All of their dApps uh, that are being deployed and utilized right now and many more that will be utilized in the future, making that easier will be the Vassal hard fork. But this is an interesting story that really aids in crypto adoption. And I want to get into it in this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel down below. Click that notification bell. Let you know every single time I put out another video, it would mean the world to me and it will definitely add value to your research here in the crypto space. I cover everything and I'm here every single day for you. Make sure you hit that like button as well. So Cardano's input output, uh, the company behind the Cardano ecosystem announces the opening of a new research center at Stanford. Now, remember, Charles Hoskinson, which uh, is coming from uh, you know, that peer reviewed side of things coming from the academic world, used to work at Ethereum, started Cardano. He is forming very strategic connections amongst huge, huge populations in this sector. This one with Stanford is very fascinating. It caught my eye and I wanted to bring it to your attention. So check this out Cardano Input Output announces the opening of a research center at Stanford. Okay. So the company behind uh, one of the, of course, best proof-of-stake blockchains, Cardano, has invested $4.5 million in a new lab at Stanford. Input-output will provide funding for three years. Applications are beginning next month in September, and faculty, undergraduate, and graduate students will all be able to apply for financial assistance at Stanford. Now, the offer deadline is November of 2022. And uh, the steering committee will include two representatives of input output. So Charles Hoskinson, the head guy at Cardano, told Coindesk that this new research center will allow blockchain development to progress at a faster pace. Uh, the brand name of a well-known university will also add much desired prominence to the cryptocurrency sector, bringing people closer to blockchain technology. Input Output collaborates with many universities around the world already. Back in 2017, in fact, it sponsored a similar initiative in Tokyo uh, at the University of Edinburgh. Uh, so these, these were the labs at Tokyo Institute of Technology at the University of Edinburgh. Now, in December, Input Output also announced a half a million dollar donation to Stanford to fund research in F. Uh, in VDFs, or Verifiable Digital Fountains, which is a scaling solution that can process high-volume transactions with limited connectivity. Of course, this is something that all blockchains and all people working in this sector are looking to always make improvements upon, right? High-volume transactions, because let's face it, only 5% of the world of, of people are actually on there transacting now. What happens when that number becomes 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%? We're going to have to uh, process a high volume of transactions uh, at a record time. Now, the great thing about blockchain technology, it's already faster than the archaic systems uh, like Visa and MasterCard and obviously our traditional banking system, right? Now, the ambitious technology could allow a blockchain network to be launched with a simple mobile phone, meaning it could catch on in developing countries with low data availability. This is massive, okay? Let me just go nerd for you here just for a second here. But there are tons of countries, one including India, which is massive by population. Many people in India, the only way they've ever accessed the internet are by smartphones, meaning most people have kind of leapfrogged in developing countries, that is, have kind of leapfrogged the uh, original desktop computer. Well, what does that do? That means they don't have really the skills needed to be proficient on the computer. However, most people, even in developing countries that have access to the internet, know how to use one of these smartphones. So imagine uh, launching a blockchain or launching you know, different versions of a blockchain all on your smartphone. This will allow for widespread adoption. This will allow for more people to work in the space within developing countries. 
And it doesn't surprise me at all that Cardano is the blockchain at the forefront of these efforts. This is why I like Cardano. They're very different than your Ethereums, than your Bitcoins. They're really tackling these big problems and they're doing it uh, in a different way, really through a peer-reviewed approach. They're, they're creating strategic partnerships with massive uh, universities that will allow some of the brightest minds at these universities to work on some of these complex problems. I love it. I love where, where, where Hoskinson is going with this, and I think it's only going to do great for Cardano's ecosystem. And I think that's why, uh, again, I'm so high on this blockchain and what they're doing. They're unique, and uh, they're already a top 10 crypto with a ton of room to grow in the future. So that's what I've got for you here in this update. Let me know what you think about it down below. As always, appreciate you stopping by, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.